There are two friends. One is in the science department, while the other is in the art department. One is good at mathematics, and the other is good in English. They both decided to teach each other the subjects they don't know, making the two friends benefit from each other without harm. This type of relationship is known as mutualism. Mutualism can be defined as the interactions between organisms or two different species, in which each organism benefits from interaction in some way, like the two friends mentioned earlier. This type of interaction is common throughout all ecosystems. For example, oxpecker, a kind of bird, and rhinoceros or zebra. The oxpeckers get food and beasts get pest control. It may involve the exchange of resources such as shelter, food, and other nutrients, and so on. Your parents take care of you, pay your school fees, take you to fancy restaurants, and buy you lovely dresses for you without you paying for them or working for them in the office. This type of relationship is known as commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship between individuals of two species in which one species obtains food or other benefits from the other without either harming or benefiting from the organism it's gaining from. For example, nurse plants are larger plants that offer protection to seedlings from the weather and herbivores, giving them an opportunity to grow. Two friends wrote an exam. One of the friends opened his book for his other friend to copy when they both received their scripts. The friend that allowed the other friend to copy got zero, while the friend that copied got 70 out of 100. The friend that got zero went to meet the teacher and he was told that he got zero because he copied. This type of relationship is known as parasitism because in the story above, one friend passed and the other friend that opened his book failed. Parasitism is a relationship between species where one organism, the parasite, lives on or inside another organism, the host, causing it some harm and is adapted structurally to this way of life. For example, fleas on dogs. Now, in today's class, we have learnt about some of the types of biological associations. We will continue in the next lesson. See you then.